Give me a second. I gotta. I gotta go freaking do this. I gotta. I gotta talk about this because people are upset with Papa God. They're like, Papa God, I'm upset with you, and I'm like, okay. You know? Sorry, my fucking life. Am I right? So the other day, I made this video here. It is called the end of OnlyFans, and basically, what I talked about in this video was, hey, listen, OnlyFans is shifting their platform. Um, they are no longer allowing explicit content you can be you can be nude but you can't be explicit you know that's like spreading like blah, blah. you know what i'm saying <laughs> i don't think you <laughs> i think you understand and the point i made in here was like you know fundamentally it's it's a shame because tiktok did something similar where they turned their backs on the creators that got them big once they got more fame, they wanted to pander to like whatever would get them more money. And so in the case of TikTok, they wanted to be more advertiser friendly. So they heavily censored the community guidelines to the point of literal suppression, which is hurting the app. It's making the app brain dead and it's killing it. Um, it's basically going to be on maintenance mode where they, they cut as much faculty as possible. And then they just burn it till it dies. So that's pretty much how it's going to happen. It's going to take years, but that's pretty much what's going to happen. <clears throat> and OnlyFans is doing something similar. I didn't actually do the Breitbart one, though, because Breitbart's stinky. I did the whatever this one is. Um, and uh, OnlyFans is doing the same. Now, people said, like, oh, it didn't start as, like, sexually explicit content. It was supposed to be for whatever, but it just became that. But it's like a lot of the, most of their money comes from that, my understanding. Um, and now you're turning your back on a, an audience, people who made you money. And I find that to be terrible. However, the thing is, though, is that a lot of people... <laughs> didn't get past the thumbnail a lot of young a uh, young uh well maybe not young but a lot of women were very upset by this thumbnail here um let me just <laughs> remove my face hold on they were upset by this thumbnail here where uh, where it's uh it says only fans and it's trisha paytas saying what am i gonna do now because she does only fans and then me in like a really like evil face i said get a real job get a real fucking job <laughs> Now, a lot of people messaged me and said, Papa Gut, you're invalidating sex work. And you're right, I am in this. But I really wasn't trying to do that. All right? It was a thumbnail. And honestly, I just thought it was really funny. <laughs> I thought it was just funny. Um, but I think that I should go into my, the depths of like how I feel about this type of work. Maybe not too deep because, you know, then I'll get demonetized and whatever. But I'm going to go a little bit deep into it. So here's my perspective. I think that generally speaking, this type of work is very mentally straining and toxic for people who engage in it. Um, I think that it leads to a lot of mental health problems. <clears throat> and like, it's, it's, it's stressful. It's frustrating. I've talked to people who used to do this or have done it and it's not good. It fucks with your mind very quickly. That being said, like, yeah, I think that people should have the choice to do whatever they want as long as like people aren't getting harmed. Um, I'm not a big fan of like active you know, prostitution, because that can lead to, like, STDs, and um, there's a lot of implications, you know, there's a lot of, uh, uh, like, you know, abuse through the system of, you know, trafficking people, even in areas that it's legal, uh, it leads, like I said, it leads more STDs, it does lead to a devaluing of women mostly, because women are usually the ones who do this stuff, and it actually leads to a lower population rate, uh, because men are like, fuck it, if it's, I can just go pay, like, 50 bucks for some vajinger, uh, why am I going to go on a date and end up spending more? You know, it actually happens. I believe in Japan, they have like an issue. Like Japan is a, is a lot more regressive than you guys think. They're getting better, but they have like a, or maybe South Korea as well. I don't really remember. I think it's South Korea, but they have like an issue with respecting women, partially because they can just do shit like this. Um, but in general, you know, not a huge fan of like active, but I guess we could do it. And if, if they decided to come to a conclusion and doing it in like a, a reasonable, responsible way, I'd be fine with it. I generally support the workers of these, I just don't really necessarily support the industry so much. Um, I think, like I said, I think it can lead to a lot of abuse. Even OnlyFans, there's like a lot of mental stress. However, I usually focus on like, I don't think it's a good thing to get into, but you have your choice. You can do what you want. However, I think that most people who go into this type of work do it for economic reasons. Um, people, yeah, I like my own videos. It's like, why the fuck? I gotta be my own biggest fan, bro. You guys gotta, you gotta get into the, into the fucking mentality, bro. You have to get into the Chad mentality. If you aren't going to like your own videos, why do you expect anybody else to like your own videos? Anyway, like I said, I don't think that people get into like this type of work unless other than like for a socioeconomic reason. I think most people do it because like they need money and they're like, fuck it. What else can I do? And so like I'm less focused on trying to make I don't want to make this legal. I mean, I, I even said in my video, like I've spent money on this before. <laughs> 
<laughs> all right, I'm not a stranger to, to, to all of it. But I think we should focus more on like expansion of wealth. And this gets into a more political conversation. And I think that we need to work on that so that when people, because there are people who decide to do this type of stuff because they enjoy it. I don't know how, but they do. So if we can give the people who don't enjoy this work the opportunity to not do this work, while we allow people who do enjoy this work to do this work, I think we'd be in a much better spot. Because we do talk about like power dynamics and whatnot all the time. Um, and I think that like when you have a society that encourages w mostly women, but men as well, but you encourages people to sell their body for sex when they don't want to do that. And this isn't like sex, but you understand what I'm saying. I think that it creates a kind of a shitty scenario where like it allows people with money to be able to pre like prey on these people. Now, I wouldn't say that they're predators. But if you don't get to make if you if you don't get to make the pure choice of like I it's like oh I can do this job that'll make me like make me feel comfortable or I could do porn I'll do porn if you make that conscious decision good for you but a lot of people don't and my point is is I think we need, we need to like expand wealth in a reasonable way I'm a universal basic income kind of guy everybody has their different uh, ideologies you know a thousand bucks a month everybody eighteen and older as long as they're not on traditional welfare it's an opt in solves a lot of problems. Gives people the ability to manage their own lives, manage their own money, takes away some power from the government to manage, uh, you know, people's lives and monies. Uh, it gets rid of our um, conditional welfare system that advocates for the conditions that it tries to get rid of. Except, you know, for instance, like if you're told, hey, you can only make $10,000 a year um, or less or we're going to take away your welfare. Of course, you're not going to try to make more than that because you'll lose your welfare. Anyway, I did want to apologize for the invalidation of some people. I want to I want to read some of these. <laughs> I'm going to sort them by newest first. Um, they're going to move to a different platform. That's true. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can find some of the, the ones that got mad. Yeah, this one. I don't care if this is about Trisha. You're, what is this? Emanating. Is this actually how you spell emanating? I'm just, I'm old. So I'm just trying to make sure. Let's see. It is anti-sex worker rhetoric. And that's not cool. Sex work is real work. By the way, that's a good point. Somebody actually said something very funny. Let me see if I can see it. Uh, you're all about ethics still comes to women doing what they want with their body. I'm so disappointed. That's fair. That one hit me in the feels. Um, it's not about advertising investors' payment methods. They won't carry a chair. What are you talking about? Shut up. Um, I'm trying to find one. Trish is fucked. <laughs> I'm trying to find. There was a comment in here. It was funny. So, sex work is a real job. We get paid. We pay taxes. A real job. And I really hate uh, it's being insulted. And it's not. There's so much work that goes into sex work. People did not realize it until they get into it. Just saying. Um, <clears throat> the thumbnail is pretty good, though. Anyway, somebody in here said a YouTuber criticizing <laughs> somebody for sex work for not having a real yeah, we're not having a real job. Um, I was trying to see if I could find it. It was funny. Somebody said something along the lines of like, oh, a YouTuber oh. that's criticizing like sex workers for not having a real job. And that's true. I don't really do very much work. In fact, I do significantly less work than... I mean, I do more work than I'm letting on. I mean, I make my own videos. I research my topics usually. Like, usually. <laughs> I research my topics. I cut my own videos. I edit my own videos. I make my own thumbnails. But they got a good point. You know what I mean? Like I'm like, this job is is very is is very easy relative to other jobs that could exist. So I guess I just wanted to to, to clear that up and give my expanded take on this video because <laughs> I really just talked about the banning of it and the fact that I didn't like it. And I'm assuming some people didn't even watch the video. They just saw the really good thumbnail. Honestly, the really good thumbnail, and they decided to not watch it. So. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. Is feet sexually explicit? I don't think so. That's a good. That's a great question, though. Thank you for asking that. 